Okay. Whoa. This is a basic tutorial on how to make your first level in Quake 3. Okay, first, you can just, as you can see, I'm going to explain some of the things. This here is the textures. This is a rendered output. And right here is a view. You can change the view by doing that. This is how high your objects are. You always hold the right mouse button to move and pan any of these um, uh, these sections and right here what you do is you use you, you can notice over here that that blue thing will move that's called the quake cam okay then create a basic level uh, I'm gonna create mine fairly large now up here in the textures you wanna come down select something floor I'm gonna select this. Okay. Now I've got that selected. You can see over here, here are all my textures I can work with. I'm gonna pick this one. Okay, over here in the height, you just click and hold above it and you drag how high it is. I'm gonna make this one 256. This is the hollow. You click that and you notice in the quake cam, you can press A to look up, Z to look down. D to move up, C to move down, and the arrow keys to look around. You notice it actually it looks like a room now. See, and you click. Oops, no. You press escape, and what that does is it des deselects. So you can't drag, you just create new objects when you try to. Backspace is to delete. Now, like, you want to select a certain thing, you hold shift and click it. And escape to deselect it. Now, for, here, I'm going to create something, like a quake entity, by right-clicking either item, miscellaneous, info. And, okay, you're going to go to info, player start, and you notice this red box over here. I'm going to drag it to one of these corners. Right here, you click inside of the box and lift up, and now it's on top of the floor. Deselect that. Create a light. This one there. This one there. Select both of them. There's two more up there. You notice how I select and deselect. It's like that. Now, if you look around in the quake cam, you notice these white diamonds. And those are your light. Oops, keep pressing the wrong keys. Okay, now let's create um, a quad pad. Okay, you select something to create the quad pad on. So, here. Um, let's select. I'm going to go to textures, uh, effects, you notice right here I have quad map, I'm just going to drag about the size of a box, shrink it down here, click inside of it, and pull it down, just like that, down to the floor. Now it looks kind of like the quad, the quad place, place that in the middle of the section, Right here, I'm going to go item, quad, and this purple box is the item. Drag that above that, and you can notice here, you don't, see if I put it down into it, you can still see the white lines, but the color itself is covered up. You don't want that. Just like that. Control S will always save it. So, just like this, I'm going to call this test02. <laughs> That ding noise, that was um, it telling me it just saved. Right here is output. So I just saved it again. You always want to make sure you can save multiple times. Sorry guys, that's Panda. It's always telling me to pick up the crap. I'm going to create another player start. Except this one's a death match. Okay.
see, just like that. Now I'm gonna create a weapon. Uh, how about the BFG, just for fun? Okay, just like that. There's the BFG. Ammo. Ammo. BFG ammo. You can always press space to clone something or to copy it. Again. There, there's pretty much your level. Uh, textures. Like I said, they you click on any one of these, and it loads all the textures in that folder. Okay, there it is. BSP, full visual extra light. <coughs> means it will just render. <coughs> see, it just finished. When you see this, that means it's done. <coughs> Save it. Okay. Now I'm going to select the command prompt. I'm going to go just like this. CD, C, program files, slash, quake, three, arena. Okay. Quake three arena, oops, slash. Only put spaces in folder names. Don't space, don't like, do that, because that confuses the command prompt. Quick 3 Arena, these Q3 slash maps. Okay, now you go BSPC, okay, minus BSP to AAS. Let me tell it the name. This one's called test02.bsp. You must put BSP on the end. Okay, done. And you see right here? and it says it closed it and there were no problems there just like that